Hello, it's me, Mr. Mustafa. Welcome to my geography class. Today, I would like to share with you the concept of humidity and its uh, different uh, dimensions from the chapter Unit 1, Sun, the Ultimate Source, 9th Standard Geography, Kerala Syllabus. So, one of the peculiar features of the planet Earth is it has an uh, atmosphere. The air envelope that is surrounds the earth like a blanket is called atmosphere. Do you think that atmosphere contains only air or gases? No. It has a dust particle. Atmosphere has water content in it. What is it is called? The water content or water present in the atmosphere is called? You see that one. Water content or the amount of water present in the atmosphere is called humidity. So in the last class we have learned that atmospheric temperature varies with place to place and season to season or time to time. These fluctuations, variations in the atmospheric temperature lead to a number of atmospheric phenomena like wind, pressure, precipitation, condensation, clouds and here water content or water vapor present in the atmosphere also influence or play a significant role in influencing atmospheric phenomena. The water content in the atmosphere is called humidity and that humidity varies time to time and place to place. What are the factors that influence a variation? In the humidity, a variation in the moisture content in the atmosphere. Mainly, there are three factors. Let us see those three factors. The factors influencing the amount of moisture or humidity in the atmosphere are temperature, availability of water and nature of air. And these are the three factors. See the first one, temperature. We know that as the temperature increases, more evaporation. More evaporation meaning more water vapor reaches in the atmosphere. So that the temperature increases, humidity increases. Availability of water. That meaning if we are in the coastal area, there is adjacent uh, large body of water. So what a more water vapor will reach in the atmosphere, so humidity increases. And third one is nature of the air. That is, you know, that a hot air or dry air capable of uh, accommodating more water vapor in it than the cold air. So what a hot air carries more water vapor in it than the cold air. The two relative concepts of humidity are absolute humidity and relative humidity. Let us see the first one absolute humidity. Absolute humidity is the actual amount of water present in the atmosphere is called the absolute humidity. And this absolute humidity is measured as number of grams of water vapor present per cubic meter volume of air. Here it is in a 1 cubic meter. In that 1 cubic meter volume of air, how much water vapor it contains? That is number of grams of water vapor per cubic meter volume of air is called absolute humidity and it is measured by this. There is a limit to the amount of water vapor that atmosphere can hold at a given temperature. For example, suppose the temperature is what 28 degrees Celsius. And suppose the limit is what that uh, 15 grams of uh, water vapor per cubic meter volume of air. And this is the limit. An atmosphere cannot hold more than this limit. I mean more than 50 grams of water vapor at a temperature of 28 degrees Celsius. And here we can say that uh, atmosphere is fully saturated with water vapor and the stage at which the atmosphere is fully saturated with the water vapor is called saturation level. The stage at which the atmosphere is fully saturated with water is called saturation level. 
here the atmosphere is fully saturated with water vapor and if more water vapor reaches the atmosphere what happens condensation begins suppose there water vapor there is no change and if there is temperature falls or temperature decreases condensation begins so the critical temperature at which condensation begins is called a dew point dew point see that one when the atmosphere is fully saturated with water vapor condensation begins so the critical temperature at which condensation begins is called the dew point another concept is relative humidity relative humidity is the ratio between actual amount of water vapor present in the atmosphere and the total water holding capacity of the atmosphere at a given temperature for example at a given temperature at a given temperature of 28 degrees celsius 1 cubic meter volume of atmospheric air can hold a water vapor of for example 20 grams but uh, it contains only 10 grams of water vapor in it and this 10 gram is actual amount of water vapor that atmosphere contains 20 grams is what a capacity so here we say that relative humidity is the ratio between actual amount of water vapor here in this case it is what a 10 gram actual amount of water vapor in the atmosphere and uh, water holding capacity of the atmosphere at a given temperature at a temperature of 28 degree celsius the atmosphere can hold a water vapor of 20 grams but actually the atmosphere contains only 10 grams so that relative humidity is always expressed in percentage so there is an equation by using that equation we can find out relative humidity what is that equation you see that equation relative humidity relative humidity we can find out by using the formula that is absolute humidity divided by total water holding capacity of the atmosphere into 100 as per that equation relative humidity is actual amount of water vapor present in the atmosphere that is what absolute humidity divided by total water holding capacity of the atmosphere into 100 this is their formula so by using that formula we can find out uh, the relative humidity and we can express that relative humidity in percentage see in that uh, case we know that what absolute humidity absolute humidity is what that at 10 grams absolute humidity divided by total water holding capacity that is what uh, 20 grams total water holding capacity at a temperature of 28 degrees celsius into 100 we know that 10 divided by 20 it is for that 0.5 0.5 into 100 it is for that 50 that 50 we know that it is expressed in percentage so what 50 percentage so the relative humidity here it is for that 50 percentage and here what happens for example more and more water vapor reaches in the atmosphere then that 10 will become 11 then 12 13 14 last it reached 20 so here capacity is 20 now actually is 20 that meaning atmosphere is fully saturated with water vapor when the relative humidity is under in this case you know the relative humidity is what 100 percentage 20 divided by 20 into 100 meaning what 100 percentage got it what is relative humidity and this relative humidity can be measured by using an instrument what is the name of that instrument that instrument is wet and dry bulb thermometer here it is the picture of wet and dry bulb thermometer 